Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. I'm Lindsay Smith with RealAgriculture.com. I'm joined by Richard Marsh with Syngenta, and we are talking plant staging. Yes. And paying attention to those growing degree days, what that means and how that can give you a heads up in the field. Because everybody's busy, aren't they? Imagine that. And they yeah. can't come back to the same field every couple of days and see what stage we're at. So we've been trying to use growing degree days to help us a little bit, you know, in, in staging fields and looking ahead a little bit to uh, try and plan some spraying operations. So this year I thought I would, um, use the North Dakota uh, staging guide. They've got pretty good growing degree days uh, set up for working through uh, spring wheat and winter wheat. And uh, I've been using um, actual growing degree days from weather stations that we have dotted around in Manitoba. So we think we're pretty accurate on, uh, on the number of heat units we're actually having or growing degree days we're actually having. So it's pretty interesting. It's close because uh, you put in your, uh, your day of seeding and if you're seeding somewhere in that inch to inch and a quarter, it's very accurate at predicting uh, where you're going to be for emergence and then coming through the stages of, of the wheat. And uh, for example, this field was seeded May the 18th. And uh, when you put your growing degree days in this morning, it says that we should be uh, somewhere between three and four leaf and one tiller just emerging. And so, like I said, depending on the depth of seeding, if you put one down two and a half inches, it's only going to be in the three leaf stage. If you had one that was just half an inch down, it's going to be advanced. But here is one that was uh, pretty much showing us where we thought we would be. We've got first leaf and we've got second leaf, third leaf, fourth leaf about half emerged and we've actually have a tiller coming here, Lindsay. So it's accurate enough that it puts us in the ballpark. So if we were an agronomist or a grower with lots of acres to be uh, thinking about spraying, scouting, we would know that, okay, we're within two or three days of where we think we should be. Now we need to get to the field and get out there and verify actually what's happening in the field. So. I think it's going to be quite useful because this year has been a real compressed uh, seeding uh, time and uh, you think, okay, well, I just uh, put that field in uh, seven, eight days ago, so it's not going to be uh, ready for herbicide yet. But the growing degree days, they're really starting to bump along now as we get into uh, long days and a bit of heat finally, we're up to 40 growing degree days every day. Whereas in the spring, earlier on in the middle of May, we we're only getting uh, two to 10 growing degree days every day. Right, and so, and this is, uh we were looking at, uh, you were doing a bit of fi calculating, a bit of figuring and seeing where you're at. And if you were to take say 30 growing degree days a day and look forward to when this crop might be at flag, let's say, yeah. um, it's actually not that far away it if we're gonna get that. Could be, uh, could be three, you know, three, three and a half weeks away. Right. We'd actually be at flag leaf. It's hard to believe when you look behind us here, hey? Yes. And, yeah. and you think uh, of what's going on, but we just got so many growing degree days uh, we're gonna get here in June. So it's really gonna bounce on through. And it's interesting how the fields always seem to get compressed again at the set, you know, to have the same stage because I have a field that's at uh, St. Jean that was seeded May the 10th with the same variety that we have over here to the right. This field was seeded May the 18th, so eight days difference. But now they're actually only two to three days apart in stage because uh, there wasn't many growing degree days between the 10th and the 18th. Right, and that, I mean, of course, uh, and I think farmers are in the thick of that right now when they're just about everything is sort of reaching herbicide uh, timing kind of at the same time. Yeah. So it does make everything uh, quite compressed. Now, um, let's talk though quickly why having the heads up of when you should be scouting for that flag leaf, why is that so important when we're talking about a fungicide application? Yeah, when we're talking about uh, fungicide and spring wheat here, it just gives us a chance, well, A, to, to get product and, uh, and B, to start thinking about equipment and can we get over, uh, over the fields at the right times because we want a right time fungicide because a poorly timed fungicide just isn't as effective, obviously. But we're starting to think about, uh, you know, tan spot, septoria, um, so we've had cool, uh, cool weather and lots of rains and lots of dews, and that's pretty conducive to tan spot. And as you get a little bit warmer, you'll start to think about septoria. But we want to keep the, uh, the top two leaves of the wheat plant clean, don't we? So if we can start to get a bit of an idea that uh, we've got three weeks ago, is the weather in the next three weeks um, going to be conducive to tan spot septoria, can help you make a decision if you're going to spray that flag leaf or not, or if you're going to try and wait for your fusarium spray. Okay, great. So we'll, we'll remind farmers to find a way to, to find those growing degree days. Yeah. Plug in now, but good point about the seeding depth. So 
getting out there and ground truthing is really and you've got to get out you've got to get out there and yeah. ground truth yeah but that gives you at least kind of can catch it up give you which fields are where and then if, and start tracking if a grower knew when his uh, crop emerged then you can just take the staging from there as well and then it seems like pretty darn accurate and there's going to be a few varietal differences but anything that gets you within a couple of days then you get out and ground truth it great thanks yeah. so much no problem Lindsay.